are the stories from the road of an automotive diagnostic robot from the future to discover new problems and new vehicles and to go where no other robot has gone before. Robotech was called to a shop with a complaint of misfire on the Ford F-150 truck with a 5.4 liter engine. The shop changed parts galore. An entire properly done venerable tune-up was done, including plugs, coil boot and fuel filter. However, that didn't work and the misfire persisted. A pesky misfire is hard on any technician's conscience. The tech did say that code P0-300 was always present and always came back after erasing it. It is estimated that 50% of all returned coils are fine. So, it was good that the shop didn't end up replacing the coils too. Besides, they are very expensive. I started my diagnostics by eliminating the basics. Never forget the basics. For a misfire, this includes first doing a visual inspection on this for the power balance test using the WDS scan tool, then a self-test also using the WDS, do a relative compression test using a clamp on current amp probe and starter test, test the fuel pressure and finally ignition basics. Since the shop had done a complete tune-up, secondary ignition testing was not needed, unless there were defective spark plugs. But let's not jump the gun and assume defective parts. After doing a relative compression test using the clamp on amp probe, which I've mentioned elsewhere on other videos, I concluded that the engine was sung, with no mechanical problems. So, was this a coil issue or a clogged injector, as in a fuel problem? An injector leak down test was time consuming, and a faster way to do it was using an accurate electronic transducer, which I didn't have at the moment. So, I decided to rely on a little known test found in the WDS Ford factory OEM scanner called Oscilloscope Detailed Signal Analysis. This, however, was a sight to see. The WDS is Ford's factory tool together with the VCM module. But, the devil is in the details. The coil on plug stress test involved some light work and fancy software. It involves removing the COP coil unit flipping it upwards, reconnecting the coil in a secure way, starting the engine, and using the WDS performing the selected COP coil stress test rat. The idea is to free trigger the ignition coil on open air. This is the effect of stressing the ignition coil to its maximum peak kilovolts. That is, maximum thousands of volts with the engine running. Wow, what a great idea from Ford. I guess they got tired of receiving returned coils that were good. So, I proceeded to remove and secure the coil upward. I then chose COP stress test red on the WDS scanner. This procedure will make the software zoom in on the peak firing coil voltage. I started the engine and made sure the coil didn't spark to any other surface and clicked on the red man icon. All testing is automated and no adjustment is needed. Here we can see a properly working coil waveform signal. It serves as a guide for any other reference during this test. Notice the downward going hump on the waveform pointing to a properly firing coil upon free air. The next few waveforms point out to a faulty ignition coil not being able to provide the proper kilovolt firing values needed for the spark to jump the gap. These faulty waves belong to the culprit coil in question here. Also, these waveforms are not the usual waveforms seen when reading ignition signals. They pertain only to this four test procedure. I started testing from coil number 1 and continued to coil 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Then as soon as I got to coil 7, that did it. The skewed waveform was very clear. Coil number 7 was faulty, but it did not seem that way at first glance. The actual coil spark was nice and clear and had the ability to jump an inch worth of air gap, which is normally the rule of thumb used for coils. This case was a real eye-opener and goes to show you the difficulties in diagnosing modern coil-on-plug systems. The engines are crampier, the voltages are higher, and the technology much more complex. Thank God Robotech is here to rescue its customers and save the day and forward this little known for its specific code,
Thank you.